In this challenge, we are going to see how a for loop can be used to interact with arrays. There are two parts to this challenge. In the first part, we're going to iterate through the synonyms array using a for loop, pushing a greeting string with the format have a blank day into the greetings array. And in the second part, we are going to use a separate for loop to iterate through the greetings array. And in each iteration, we're going to console log that corresponding greeting. As the given pseudocode indicates, we're going to loop through each index in the synonyms array. We're going to concatenate Hava, the synonym, and day, and we're going to push that concatenated string into the greetings array. So in the first part, we're going to go ahead and create a for loop that iterates through the, the synonyms array. And as you can see, there are three expressions that the for loop is taking, separated by semicolons. First, we initialize a variable called i and set its value to zero. Then, the for loop runs while the condition that i is less than the length of the synonyms array is true. And finally, after each iteration or round within the for loop, we increment i by one. Now we're going to set up the body of the for loop. We're going to call push on the greetings array as so. And the value that we'll be pushing inside the greetings array will be a concatenated string. The strings are Hava, the corresponding um, string found in the synonyms array at that index, and finally day. So we're going to console.log the greetings array, and we can expect that greetings is no longer an empty array, but instead is filled by three strings, have a fantastic day, have a wonderful day, and have a great day. And that's what line 12 is doing here. Now we're going to go ahead to um, the second section. And as the pseudocode indicates, we're going to create another for loop, similar to what we made before. But this time, we're going to iterate through the greetings array. We've set up our conditions as so. And in each iteration, we're going to console.log the value that is stored at that corresponding index inside the greetings array. So we're going to console.log greeting at that index. So in the first iteration, it should console.log have a fantastic day. In the second iteration, it should print have a wonderful day. And in the last iteration, it should print have a great day. So we're going to run the code. And hopefully we'll see those three prints. Yep, and we have a greetings array, um, the contents of the greetings array being printed through that second for loop. 